Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cool Banker, DNF Realtors. Once again, I'm in my favorite master plan community, Esperanza, in the historical town of Bertie, Texas. And today, we're doing a video of what's new in Esperanza for 2024 at this new park behind me, Roca Loca uh, Kids Park. It is brand new, and I can't wait to show it off. Let's go check it out. Now, if you saw my motorcycle tour, I was like, hey, I'm kind of curious to see what they're building out here. I did that tour about four months ago, but every year it seems Esperanza is doing something new. This is their amenity center that I've already done a video tour. I'm gonna to put it right up here of this whole thing. As I'm filming it, it is late May 2024, and they finally started opening up the park uh, for every day. I do wish Esperanza had it opened more often, uh, especially since like April, it's been kind of swim weather. But they wait until May, have it only open on the weekends, and now after Memorial Day, they open it for everybody. All right, this new section here is kind of geared for the younger kids, it looks like, but it's a cool playground area and a park that you're just not going to see in other communities. So it's kind of neat having this little rock, uh, little wood uh, climbing things. Like I said, you can already tell this community is really geared for kids with their splash park and everything there another little beam they can walk up and crawl across but I really do like what they've done here and uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos before I've done motorcycle tours of this community and I've sold quite a few homes in here not to toot my own horn but I'm very familiar with this community uh, one of the big things is tax rate people always ask about this is gonna be slightly higher than other communities in the Bernie, Texas area because they're at 2.3 and that's because they have their uh, water district tax. It kind of helps pay for all the water that's being used. They've got their own rain capture uh, system and uh, that does jack up the tax rate a little bit compared to other communities. But you also have your own elementary school here lazy river and a lot of really neat stuff and the hoa fees i think they're in the mid 800s a year not a month so that's kind of neat to have but this little park is so cool for all the kiddos to come out and play i like this little uh, slide thing they got in here that kind of slides down to the other layer and i already did a little heat check i am a gin X, so you guys probably remember what those metal slides felt like in the summer. This isn't as bad, it's still a little warm, but it's not gonna be, holy crap, I just got third degree burns sliding down those metal slides we used to do as kids. But you get little tunnels and stuff like this to come crawling through, really cool. Another little detail I liked about it is this little rock wall. You can tell based on they put it in the shade underneath the trees, that's kind of where parents can sit and watch the little monsters go play around and beat each other up in this park without having to stand the whole time. So that's really a cool feature to have. Another cool feature is this play, this little giant tree house thing. You can play a fort games or whatever you want to do, but that is super cool having that in a community. And if you've never been to this community, we are literally an eight minute drive from the historical downtown Bernie area. So, cause I've, I've timed it coming from here. So this community has a lot of really good builders in it. You got Chesmar, Perry, Monticello. And later on this week, I'm gonna come out and video the newest section that's coming out on 80 and 90 foot lots that Monticello and uh, Perry's gonna be building in. They're just coming up with pricing on it. It's getting ready to go for sale. Uh, like the next week or two. So it's always best to be early in the buying the lots than late, later because all the good lots are gonna get gobbled up real quick. Another interesting thing is the sand pit playground area. It's really super cool. I mean, I haven't seen anything like this in other communities before. So I do love the fact that Esperanza is so very family friendly. And if you don't want to be around a bunch of kiddos, of course you have the uh, 55 and up community of Toll Brothers. It's also up here and they're gonna have their own little amenity and clubhouse section if you wanted to be in uh, that type of environment. 
part that's going to do it for the video tour of what's new at Nest Bronze for 2024. Speaking of some what's new is I recently started shaving my head, so you're definitely going to see me in a cowboy hat a lot more often when I'm doing my outdoor videos because, yeah, I don't want my dome to burn. So uh, let me know what you think about that decision to go completely bald. Anyways, if you're still contemplating the decision to move to the Texas Hill Country and not already working with a real estate agent, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. The best way to do that is to click on my information in the description box. It's going to have my phone number to text me, my email to email me, or a Calendly link to where you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me. I'll be happy to help. Anyways, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family, especially those who th are thinking about moving to Texas Hill Country. All right, take care for now. Bye.